Hello, hello, happy Friday. Welcome to Functional Fitness and Guided Breathing. Jazzy here, and I have a good workout plan for us today. So we um, will need one dumbbell and one mini band if you have it. If you have neither, all good. You can still do everything that we have planned today, uh, but this will just kind of enhance what we got going on. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do three rounds of this workout. We're going to do 45 seconds of work. We're going to do 15 seconds of rest slash transition time. We're going to do that three times through, and then we'll get into that guided breathing session. So I'm going to go ahead and show real quick the demos. So we're going to start off here. We're going to do a two-part movement. So it's going to be a um, single leg or kickstand Romanian deadlift with a row at the bottom. So this is where we need one dumbbell. What we're going to do is we're going to put all of our weight in one foot. The other leg is going to be on our toe, still underneath the hip. We're going to push our hips back like we're closing the door. So we're going to face this angle for a second. So we're going to push our hips back. And then once our hips are done, we're going to take that dumbbell and we're in a row. And then we'll push the ground away and stand back up. So from the other side, this is the same leg. We're going to hold the dumbbell in the opposite arm of the leg that we're using. So we're pushing the hips back until they're stopped moving. We're going to pull that dumbbell up towards the butt. We're going to squeeze through the armpit and then push the ground away and stand back up. So we're gonna do all on one side and then we'll switch over to the other side. So then I'll use my other leg coming down row at the bottom. Or if you are comfortable and you would like and you want to do a full single leg here and then row up and then push the ground, feel free. So whatever is available to you today, that's what I would like you to do. So it's gonna be our first two movements. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that dumbbell down and this is where a mini band is gonna come in. So if you have one, wonderful. If not, all good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in between, or sorry, in between, right underneath our toes here. Our feet are gonna be hip width apart. We're gonna do some banded marches here. So one knee at a time, we're gonna come up nice and slow, back down, and then the other knee and back down. So this is really good to strengthen our hip flexors. If you don't have a band, not a problem. You're just going to come up nice and slow. And then to the other side again, nice and slow using that core. So that's going to be our third movement. And then we're going to be on the ground for the last two. So our first one is going to be a pike push up. So for this, if you want, you can start off in that plank position. And then we're going to push our hips towards the ceiling. And then we're going to bring our head down in between our hands. And we're going to push the ground away and come back up. So it's that pike push up here. We're pushing through the ground. And if that's not available to you today, feel free to try out a plank to pike first. So pushing yourself up and back. And then when you feel ready, you want to try it, go ahead and do those push ups there. So that's going to be our fourth movement. And then our final movement here, we're going to do some glute bridge marches. So we're going to be on the ground on our backs. Our feet are hip width apart. We're going to drive our heels through the ground or into the ground and we're going to stay here this whole time so our core is nice and tight here we're going to exhale one knee at a time come up and back down and then again exhaling driving that knee up and back down so that one we're going to feel in our glutes and our core and then like I said, we're going to do that three times through. So that's the whole circuit. So we're going to go ahead and get ready um, with a nice warm up. So we're going to make our way onto the ground for our warm up. And we're going to be in a half kneeling position. So one knee on the ground and one foot on the ground. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our hips. So we're going to go ahead, tuck that pelvis. So bring your butt to the belly button. Lock that core in. Our back is nice and flat. We're gonna squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground and we're gonna gently bring those hips forward. So we're keeping that glute squeeze. We're gonna feel that starting to open up the front of the hip. We're gonna do a nice big deep breath. And then we're gonna exhale. We're gonna straighten the front leg. We're gonna push our hips back and bring our chest towards our knee. We're gonna open up our calves and our hamstrings. We're gonna use those a lot today. So we wanna warm them up. We're gonna do a big deep breath. And then we're gonna exhale, coming back to our hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna do this one more time on this side. So squeeze that glute, push those hips forward. 
by squeezing the glute, we help release the hip flexor. So that's kind of the goal here is to release that hip flexor. We're gonna do a nice big deep breath. And we're exhaling, push those hips back, chest towards the knee, toes to the ceiling. The more the toes are pointed up, the more of the stretch you're gonna get behind your leg. So we're gonna do a big deep breath here. And then we're gonna go ahead and exhale and come out of that. And then we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna have one knee on the ground and one foot on the ground. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna do two on this side. So butt to belly button, we're gonna squeeze that glute. And we're gonna push those hips forward. We're gonna, again, feeling that opening up the front of the hip. We're gonna do a nice big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale straight in the front leg. Push those hips back, toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. We're gonna do one more each way and then we're gonna do one more quick warm up, and then we're gonna get right into that circuit. So we're gonna do a nice big deep breath. And we're exhaling, coming back forward. So one more hip flexor stretch. So keep that glute squeeze, push those hips forward. Really important to help release that hip flexor. So that's the front of the hip here. We're gonna do a big deep breath. And we're exhaling, straightening out our front leg, toes to the ceiling, chest towards the knee. Breathing into those tight areas here. We're gonna do one more breath. And then we're gonna go ahead and exhale and come out of that. And then from here, if you make your way to your hands and your knees, we're gonna go ahead and tuck our toes, push ourselves up into a plank. And we're gonna do a couple of planks of pikes here. So let's go ahead and push those hips up. And then back down to plank, pushing them up again, getting that nice stretch through the calves and through the back. We're gonna go ahead and do two more, coming up and back down. And last one, push those hips up. And then from here, we can go ahead and walk our hands towards our feet. And go ahead, push the ground away, stand on up. We are ready to rock and roll. I was cold and now I'm not. So I'm going to take my jacket off, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So grab that dumbbell if you have it today. And we're starting off with our um, single leg Romanian deadlifts with a row. So I'm going to get the timer going here. Three, two, one, and go. So we have one dumbbell. And again, we're holding it in the opposite hand of the leg we're using. And if we feel more comfortable, keep that toe on the ground. We're going to push the hips back. And then we're keeping that hand outside of our leg, drive the elbow up, push the ground away. So we do want to keep that core engaged. So I like to imagine that we're zipping up the core, bringing each side of the six pack together. So we inhale back and exhale row and then push the ground away. So it's all one movement here. And then again, if you would like, feel free to do that full single leg Romanian deadlift. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. So holding the dumbbell, the opposite hand, using the opposite leg. We're getting ready here. Three, two, one. So we're at slight bend in those knees, push the hips back, rowing up and back down. So you can place that foot wherever feels comfortable as long as it's underneath the hip is a more important part, but you can have it back a little bit further. You can have it right up, whatever feels comfortable. Keeping that slight bend in the knee. The important part here is to really just drive through one foot versus both of the feet. So that's how we get that single leg movement with the foot on the ground. Or again, coming back, if you want to work on balance and stability, Try it out, see how it feels. Sometimes three, two, one. I know for me, sometimes I like to put that foot down so I get a little bit more out of the movement. All right, banded or slow marches are next. So if you don't have a band, going nice and slow. Three, two, one. So one knee at a time coming up and back down. So making sure our core is engaged, so we do that. If we exhale through a straw, everything's gonna come down and together. We wanna pull those six pack muscles together like a zipper. And it helps if we exhale as we bring the knees up. 
and it's okay. I know I hear lots of crunching and popping throughout my hips. As long as there's no pain associated, we're good to go. Uh, but this is going to help us strengthen those hip flexors. Sometimes if we have tight hips, yes, it's a tightness. Sometimes it's due to lack of strength. Three, two, one. All right. Love doing those for hip flexor strength. All right, next up we have our pike push-ups and then glute bridge marches. And then we're going to go through that again. So getting on the ground, getting ready. Three, two, one. So starting in the plank, pushing those hips up, bringing that head as close to the ground as we can. Sometimes my bun touches the ground for me and that's how I know when to stop. Great little uh, reminder. Um, but we want those elbows to be slightly in. So we want our elbows to kind of go more in the direction of our feet versus straight out. When we go straight out, that's when we can put pressure on our shoulder joints. We really want to strengthen our muscles here. So we're going to feel this in the shoulders and a little bit in the backs of our shoulders and in our upper back as well. Great job. Finish strong. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go ahead, flip over onto our backs. We're gonna do our glute bridge marches and we're gonna stand on up for our single leg Romania deadlifts. Three, two, one. So push those hips up towards the ceiling. Heels are driving into the ground. We're gonna exhale, engage that core, drive one knee up and then the other one. So really key here, this one, we want to drive the opposite glute into the ground as we drive the knee up. We're going to feel this in the core. So we want to use the core to pull the knee in. So that's where we're acting like we're zipping things up. The end of the zipper is a string attached to the knee. That's what's pulling the knee up. And then to keep our hips, we want our headlights on our hips to blind the ceiling the whole time. So that's where driving the opposite heel in will help us from rotating. And time's up. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the clock. Three, two, one, done. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and stand on up. And we got our single leg Romania deadlifts. Three, two, one. So if we are doing a straight single leg one, we want a slight bend in the knee and in the hips. And then we go and push those hips back. Drive the elbow, standing back up. Really important that we are nice and tall through our chest as we stand up. And also our upper back, we want to be nice and flat. So we don't want to be hunching at the bottom. So I like to imagine if you have an orange in between those shoulder blades, squeeze that orange. Keep it squeezed, push the hips back, push the ground away. Great job. Three, two, one. All right. We're going to go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. So this one's really great for that balance and stability work. Three, two, one. I think I'm just slightly taller than my space a little bit. So I was like trying to give my leg a little bit more room and now I feel like I'm going to hit my head on the counter. So gotta make do with the space we have, but we can really work out wherever we have space. The beauty of working from anywhere. All right. So we're pushing those hips back. Driving the elbow up, push the ground away. When we are doing the Romanian deadlifts, so you really want to feel that in the glutes and the hamstrings. Three, two, one. All right. Sending our dumbbell down. We're getting ready for our banded marches. If we have a band, if we don't, A OK. That band right around the toes. Three, two, one. So again, one leg at a time coming up. Helps. We exhale as we drive the knee up. I don't know where my balance just went, but I guess I uh, used all my balance exertion for the single leg Romanian deadlifts. 
great job. Again, I'm, I'm noticing myself doing this. So um, I'm talking to myself on this one too. We want to try to avoid leaning over. We want to stay as nice and steady as we can. Coming up takes lots of focus. Three, two, one. All right, great job. We got two more movements around two. So we're doing our pike push-ups next. So getting on the ground. Starting off in our plank position, three, two, one. Just push those hips up and then bringing that head towards the ground. Elbows are going towards your feet versus straight out. Now sometimes for me, these push-ups feel a little bit better than regular push-ups. Um, you also might feel it a little bit more in those triceps too which is a great way to kind of strengthen all around our upper body here. Lots of functional fitness going on. And there go my glasses. I'm going to try to not forget to watch the clock here. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right. Last part of round two, then we got one more round. We're doing our glute bridge marches. So we're getting on our backs on the ground. Feet hip width apart, three, two, one. So we're pushing those hips up. Our core is engaged, so we're breathing through that straw. Everything's coming down and together. We're driving the heel in. Exhale, drive the knee up. This is one of my personal favorite movements. It really helps to work on our pillar, which is our shoulders, hips, and torso. And this is really great to help with our glute strength, our core strength, and our low back strength as well. So this can kind of help if you have some low back tightness or low back pain. This will help us kind of strengthen the areas around it to kind of help alleviate that, which I know is pretty common with sitting at the, de the chair. Three, two, one. Sitting at the computer is really what I was trying to say. All right, great job. Standing on up. Last round, single leg, Romanian deadlift with that row at the bottom. Three, two, one. So again, if you are not comfortable with that yet, keeping that toe on the ground, but we're driving through just one heel. So I like to really focus. We want those heels to drive through the ground because that's what's going to activate our glutes for us. So it's all about knowing what muscles we want to work and using those muscles to stand up. So I find it pretty common, especially with this movement with Romanian deadlifts to pull with the low back to come back up. So that's why when we're bending, when we're pushing our hips back, we want to make sure we're not going past parallel. Three, two, one. Because what happens with that is we start to use the low back to stand up. So if we stop when our hips are done, then we drive through the ground. That's going to work our glutes a lot more. Switching sides here. Three, two, one. Which this movement also will help to work on our hips and our torso. So this will help strengthen the low back. We're rowing, so it's going to help strengthen our lat muscles here which can help with posture, which helps with sitting at the computer during the work day. Oh, there goes my balance. Great job. We're doing awesome. I know this is a little bit of a more difficult movement, but we're doing great. We're pushing through, we're finishing strong. Three, two, one. All right, we are done with those for today. So go ahead and set that dumbbell aside. We're getting ready for our marches. So if you have that band, go ahead and grab it. If not, we're moving nice and slow. Three, two, one. So moving nice and slow here. We're keeping that core tight. Our chest is still open. So we're still squeezing that orange because we don't really want to be bent here because that does not feel good on my hip flexors. We're going to be nice and tall here using the core, using our hip flexors here. 
doing lots of strengthening. We're trying to stay with our center of mass in between our legs. We're trying not to rock back and forth. Way easier said than done for sure. So it takes lots of concentration and focus. Three, two, one. All right, great job. Done with those. Get rid of the band. All right, we got pipe push-ups, glute bridge marches, and then we're gonna be on our back for the rest of that. So we're gonna do a quick cool down before we get into our guided breathing. Three, two, one. So start off in the plank. Push your hips up, bring that head in between the arms. If you have been doing the plank to pike this time instead on this third round, let's go ahead, amp it up, push ourselves a little bit more. Let's try and do the whole round without stopping, doing all pike push-ups here. You know, push-ups are, the, at least mine, the bane of my existence, but we're doing them, we're getting better at them. Doing hard things here will make things outside of this session a little bit easier, which is always my goal for y'all to do that. Three, two, one. All right, awesome. We got one more movement. We got our glute bridge marches. And then go ahead and we're back after these. So we're gonna do a quick stretch and then we're gonna breathe. Three, two, one. I feel like I say that every time. And I say it, it sounds as if I think we haven't been breathing this whole time. <laughs> but what I really mean is we're going to breathe with intent. We're going to practice our deep breathing. We're going to do a little bit of tempo work to really help us calm the body and mind down. Great job. We're exhaling as we drive those knees up. Moving nice and slow. Moving with intent here. Really try and make this last set the best set. We're finishing strong. We're definitely going to stretch out our glutes and our low back at the end. Three, two, one. And that is going to be it for today's circuit. So go ahead, grab a sip of water if you need it. And like I said, we're going to be on our backs on the ground for the rest of class. So real quick, we are going to do a a little bit of a stretch here. So we're gonna do with the figure four piriformis stretch. And this is gonna help us stretch out our glutes and our hamstrings and our low back because we did lots of all of those today. So I'm gonna start off with my left foot on the ground. We're gonna take the right ankle, cross it over the left knee. You can go ahead and press down on that knee. And if that tension feels good, feel free to stay there. If you need a little bit extra tension, interlace your fingers and grab either behind the knee or in front of the shin and pull that knee towards the chest. So from here, we're gonna breathe in through the nose, into the belly, really feeling our hips expand. And then exhaling through the mouth, relax the body, sigh away that tension. Our goal here is we're targeting our hip as a whole. So you might feel it more in the front of the hip if that's what's tight. You might feel it in your glutes if that's what's tight. You might feel it in your back or a hamstring. So this is going to feel a little bit different for all of us. We're breathing that tension away, opening everything up. We're going to go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we are finishing our exhale, we can gently release our foot and then bring both our feet to the ground. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So my right foot is gonna stay on the ground. My left ankle is crossing over my right knee. Sorry, over my, yeah, I was right. <laughs> and then if you press down on your knee and that tension feels good, go ahead and stay there. If you need a little extra tension, go ahead and interlace those fingers either behind the knee or in front of the shin and pull that knee towards the chest. Same thing. Breathing in through the nose, into the belly. And then exhale, high away the tension we feel throughout our whole body. And this is where we take note that this side is probably feeling a little bit different than the other side. I know for me, I felt it more in the front of my hip 
think now I feel it more right behind my glutes. So each person is going to feel it differently and each side of your body likely will feel it differently because each side has strengths and weaknesses that are different than the other side most of the time. Let's go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we finish our exhale, we can gently bring that foot to the ground and then the other foot. And then let's go ahead and extend our legs all the way out laying flat on our backs on the ground. And for our breathing here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice our deep breathing for a few breaths and then we're gonna do a little bit of a tempo. So while we're practicing, let's go ahead, let's take our right hand, place it over our belly slash over the diaphragm. So right underneath the rib cage. And then our left hand is gonna go over our heart. So when we're practicing our belly breaths, we want our right hand to rise either more before or before the right, the other hand or our left hand. So we're gonna inhale, we're gonna practice that. So we want our right hand to rise. So we're gonna inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. Do that a few more times. So inhale in through the nose, let that right hand rise. And then exhale through the mouth. Go ahead and do one more practice. And exhale. Awesome. So we want to continue that to breathe through the nose into the belly so that that right hand rises. This is by using our diaphragm. It's going to help us breathe a little bit better, get a little bit deeper of a breath, which can also help when it comes to calming down um, in times of stress or anxiety after a workout class. Pretty much at all times, it's really going to help when we really breathe through that diaphragm. So we're going to do a little bit of a tempo here. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale for four seconds. We're going to hold for four seconds. And we're going to exhale for six seconds. So the reason I chose this tempo is it's kind of a way to start getting into some breathing for with longer, longer exhales that help with stress management. And if we are in times of stress and when we exhale longer than the inhale, it will help us calm our body down, the heart rate, go into our rest and digest. So I'll count it out for us. We're going to do a few of these. So we're going to inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go ahead, keep that tempo. We're gonna do a few of these where I'm not gonna say anything. Right, our next sequence, we're going to make our last sequence. And after we finish that sequence, we can start to wake the body up, move the head side to side, look our fingers and toes. Feel free, you can stay laying on the ground if you'd like, or you can make your way slowly rolling over onto your side and returning to a seated kneeling or standing position. But that is going to be all the time I have for today's class. So thank you so much for joining me. We definitely did a lot of different types of things today, working total body functional fitness. Um, but thank you for joining me.